teacher's conference room, and now look at it. Oh, it is beautiful. This would be the beautiful Amin in New York you find yourself in, my darling. Uh, do you think you could help Amenia, me with these? Amenia, that's so beautiful. It's just so us, right? Oh, Barry, look at you and your cute little getup. You're slowing this train down. Let's get in there. That's the best part, right? The aha moment, the swing in the door open, the clean slate, finding something new on the road. I think they even have HBO in there, too. <laughs> no. No, you're, you're right. Uh, I think this place has, has charm, right? And it, that's what I'm all, all about. You know me. Uh, before we go in, you think you could give me a hand with this? I think I'm just gonna say it. I can't believe you're here with me right now. I just, I, I honestly, it's kind of surreal seeing you here. It's as if my eyes haven't gotten fully adjusted to seeing you out of those halls. And I know it's nothing special for the weekend, but I don't know. It's got that we've got that whole upstate vibe thing aesthetic going on. I think that goes a long way. I don't know, Carrie, I guess what I'm trying to say is, oh, uh, uh, Carrie, I, I guess, I don't know. Of course it's me, who else would it be? I mean, after all, I'm the one who decided to take you up on all of this. Oh, I just, I want you to relax. I don't want you to sweat this time away. I just, can you imagine all the fun we're oh. about to have? Oh boy, Miss, yeah, I guess this is some fun. Uh, maybe we should try to keep the other lucky guests of the Willows in mind while we're having fun. Oh, no. This is our best. <gasps> no. It's our staycation. Come on. It's just us now. Um, actually, I think the place just hit max capacity. And you know how seriously the locals take the quiet hours here? Well, I'm not a local. And I'm not quiet. Besides, those people don't matter. You're the only one that matters. And you want to know the best part? There's a best part? Mm-hmm. The best part is, my big man, is that now finally, after countless weeks of teachers' conferences and all of our stolen glances and having to listen to Principal Murray ramble on and on and on, I'm just sitting there craving all the time in the world with you, and now I finally got it. Um... That's a lot to be excited about. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just been cramped up about work lately and... You don't seem excited, Mr. Hogan. Oh no, Carrie, it's just, I, I know I'm boring you to tears about uh, all this shit from work and all the fun facts from the lower Hudson Valley. I just, I'm getting all out of track here. Are you having fun? I mean, is, is any of this fun at all? I'm just... I thought this would be a more unique first date than, say, Dino's Pizza. I wanted it to be better than that. I'm afraid this isn't what you wanted at all. Barry. Perry? Where am I right now? Really, think about it. Um, Willows Creek Motel, Amenia, New York, United States, Earth, one? No, I'm standing atop the Barry Hogan. Lead editor Rockaway's public school's number two's athletic department's entire archives. This is true. Mm -hmm. And he's had a long day. And I'm getting kind of tired of waiting around here, so I think I need a snack. Oh, God, Carrie, I forgot. Jesus, Barry, what? I, uh, have a surprise. Oh, you do? You know I do, and it's about a foot long. Ooh, say more now. It's absolutely smothered and dripping. Smothered and dripping and what? Chili and onions. Wait, 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 what? Oh, it's gonna be fantastic, Carrie. You're in for a real treat. Look, Barry, I don't think I'm into that kind of thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll, not like that. I don't want you to think I'm some kind of a freak. Uh, 
How would chili and onions work anyway? No, I, I don't know. It's just we were in bed and we were oh. getting in the mood. No, no, no. Trust me. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there for any and all educators, especially uh, cute ones named Carrie. All right. So spit it out. Whatever you have for me. Sloshed in coleslaw or whatever. <laughs> coleslaw. For, forget what's on it. Would the court allow me to rewind for a moment? Rolling aloud. Just this once. Thank you, Honorable Judge McKay. Surprise, surprise. Where did Big Dumb Berry's brain hide his bag of buried things? Um, do you like need oh. a hand or something? I present to you, madame, our afternoon's main course. Um, thanks, Barry. What is this? What are these is the question. Dogs. West Virginia dogs. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I still don't know what that means. Oh, that's right. All right. Rewind? Sure, fill me in. So there we were this morning. Me, manning the wheel of the car, my precious cargo in tow. You, my precious cargo, fast asleep in the shotgun when I saw a brilliant sight to behold, the West Virginia dogs. Did I ever tell you my family and I used to come up here on weekends? Yeah, you hated it. But the saving grace lied in this Hogan family tradition. Let me explain the whole thing. So we start with a big foot-long hot dog and a bun. Not just any soft bun, more like a roll with a flaky hard exterior and a smooth gooey center. Then we order onions, caramelized to add a nice accent to the dogs. Then we smother that bad boy in Hot Mama's special spicy chili. And if we're feeling real dangerous... Yeah? Mustard. Mustard. Yeah, I, I'm still really not getting the whole point here. All right, so I'll start again. We begin with a no, giant no, no, foot-long no, no. hot dog. I get dog. the whole production of it. I just, I don't understand the origin of it. I mean, there has to be some sort of backstory there. I mean, what's so West Virginian about them? So, you got me there. It's sort of my dad's dad's recipe. So, your grandpa? Well... Kind of. So, um, where's the famous chef these days? Hot summer days growing up, this was it. Enjoying one of these with my mom and sister on the deck. One of our old dogs flipping out in the yard just to get a whiff. But no, not with these. These were too special to just throw away like that. They were ours. No one else was a part of this. My dad started teaching my mom how to make them and we all got really into it. We'd wait until we were all together to make them, to bring in the summer. My family's never really had that much to do together. So things like this were all we had to look forward to. Eventually my grandfather passed away and my dad went cold turkey on the West Virginias. He's just a boring old ketchup guy now. No one cares to dress them up like that anymore. And that, that's what sucks about this whole thing. They were ours. We loved these. And they, they died out with that old geezer. He didn't care about them. He didn't care about us. So, um, I'm just gonna take a quick shower freshen up a little bit, and from then, who knows? Okay, um, I'll be here.